Could we ever destroy the sun? Let's take the most powerful weapon we have on Earth, a nuke, all 14,000 of them, and fire them at the sun? Well, the largest nuclear bomb we've created so far is called the Tsar Bomba, destructive enough to flatten an entire city the size of New York. However, the sun itself generates massive amounts of energy, equivalent to one billion Tsar bombs exploding every second. Firing every nuke on Earth at the sun would be like setting off a tiny firework in the middle of an erupting volcano. But what if we created a nuke more powerful than the sun? Could we ever destroy the sun? The sun is a huge star made up of a dense core under immense pressure. It is so massive that one million Earths could fit inside the sun. The sun is made up of 74% hydrogen and due to the extreme pressure, these hydrogen atoms are fused together to create a new atom, helium, and also enormous amounts of energy. This process is called nuclear fusion. Most nuclear bombs throughout history have used nuclear fission to create the explosion of energy. Nuclear fission is when atoms are torn apart. However, modern, more powerful nuclear bombs, called hydrogen bombs, use fission to generate an initial explosion which then powers the fusion of hydrogen atoms. These bombs create a fireball that can match the extreme temperature of the sun. So, in a way, the sun itself is like a giant self-controlled nuclear bomb. However, the hydrogen bomb is many times smaller and less powerful than the sun. And as they are fueled in a similar way, throwing any hydrogen bomb into the sun, no matter how powerful, may just add fuel to the fire. Could we throw the Earth into the sun? We may not be able to blow up the sun, but what if we threw the Earth into it? Of course, that would mean destroying our planet, but could it destroy the sun? If the Earth fell out of orbit and crashed into the sun, it would hit the sun with incomprehensible amounts of energy, which is the energy that holds the sun together. If we wanted to rip apart the sun's core, we would need to overcome the sun's binding energy. The issue with this is that the Earth would need to be going at close to the speed of light, which would require way more energy than we have access to, even if we were an advanced civilization. But what if we tried putting out the sun with water? Let's imagine we had a massive planet made entirely of water. In fact, there are over 4,000 planets in the Milky Way alone made of water. So let's throw all of them at the sun. Well, the sun's mass is over 300,000 times the mass of Earth and makes up 99.8% of the entire solar system's mass. So throwing all 4,000 planets would be like throwing a glass of water into a volcano. So what could stand a chance against the power of the sun? When we think of the deadliest things in the universe, nothing comes to mind quicker than a black hole. So could a black hole be used to swallow and destroy the sun? Black holes have gravitational fields so strong that just passing by a planet like Earth would cause it to be pushed into a completely different orbit and potentially into the sun. Even the smallest black holes can have a mass 100 times bigger than the sun. These are called stellar mass black holes. These tend to orbit around the galaxy and would be like a giant Pac-Man eating anything in its path. Supermassive black holes get larger and larger by merging with smaller black holes. Astrophysicists have found that supermassive black holes can rip apart stars. They witnessed a star being torn apart as half of its mass was sucked into the black hole just because the star was a little too close and got caught in that huge gravitational field. So a supermassive black hole could definitely swallow and destroy the sun. We would just need to somehow push the sun close enough to a known black hole for the black hole's immense gravitational pull to do its thing. The issue is, how could we get the sun close enough without being pulled in ourselves? All in all, this isn't greatly feasible either. Clearly, we need to use something much less dangerous than a black hole. Something which won't destroy us too. Well, how about instead of destroying the sun, 
we simply try to turn it off. A great way to put the sun into shutdown would be to stop the nuclear fusion which powers the sun. Then the sun will have no energy source and will die. How can we do this? We kill it with iron. No, no, not that iron. The sun right now is full of hydrogen and is fusing it constantly. But stars like the sun, over billions of years, fuse the products of fusion to gradually stick together more and more atoms and create bigger and bigger elements. Stars fuse elements all the way up to iron, which is a big and heavy element. Fusing iron together to make anything bigger will take more energy than is made by doing it. So fusing iron loses energy. This will make the sun's core go into shutdown. The core, now made fully of iron, will die. The outer layers will collapse in on themselves and the star will be dead. But to make this happen artificially, we couldn't just throw iron onto the surface of the sun, as this would actually just make it even bigger. We would have to somehow take out the sun's core and replace it with a core fully made of iron, and just hope we don't get incinerated in the process. So it seems as if killing it outright may be very difficult. Perhaps it would be easier to find ways to take all its energy. What if one day survival in our solar system became infeasible and we had to find another source of energy to replace the sun? What if we could harness the power of our sun and shoot it out into space to be used where we need it? The Dyson Sphere is a hypothetical giant structure that could be built around and encompass a star like the sun. The scientists who conceptualized it suggested that maybe space-traveling civilizations in the future might store and use the sun to meet their energy needs. They might take small amounts of the sun's energy as it is needed. Just like filling up a car with petrol. But maybe let's first manage to land people on Mars before we try building structures as large as the sun. Even if we never do anything to actively destroy the sun, the sun will eventually die on its own. The sun has been shining for around four and a half billion years and will continue to do so for a couple billion more. Over the next five billion years, the sun will get larger and hotter until eventually it loses its outer layers to space and turns into a white dwarf. This is basically just the sun's remaining core. It is very dense, as it is a similar mass to the original sun but is reduced to the size of the Earth. No nuclear fusion happens anymore, but it shines a faint white from residual stored energy. Who knows if the human race will ever witness this? And when the sun dies, our Earth will die too. But maybe the Earth will die even before then. Maybe we could watch this from a bunker on Mars. So could humans ever destroy the sun? Well, yes. With more advanced technology, it is definitely possible. However, we still need a lot of innovation and investment to get there. Unfortunately, we don't know how fast each type of technology will advance. But what we do know is that we are on the road to get there. Who knows what humanity may achieve? Do you have any creative ideas of how we could destroy the sun? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we upload. Please go ahead and check out the other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.